Happy day. I got some coffee here. And I got my computer here. And I've got my dog here. And it's Monday. And it's time to get some stuff done. Like, for real, get some stuff done. Because we have. Oh my gosh, let's open a calendar. Um, let's see how many weeks until we have to move into our new place. What is today? It is March. No, it's not March 2023. It's April. I've got to twitch. My eye will not stop twitching today. Let's see. What, can I get it to twitch? No. Do you think it's stress? I feel like maybe it's stress because. Oh, it's doing it again. Maybe it's just when I start talking about stressful things. Because we, okay, so today, let's see, we have one, uh, two, three, four, five, five and a half weeks until we have to move in to our new house. And it's more about moving out of this place because we said we were gonna be out of here by a certain date. Um, which means we have to move into our new place. And today we have one toilet, zero showers, zero kitchen. Um, we do have two bedrooms that are almost livable. No, that's not true. They still have to be painted and the walls have been prepped, but they still have to be painted and floors laid. So we have nowhere to move to and nowhere to put our stuff. Like nowhere to put our stuff because we have a lot of shit and we are moving into a smaller house. It's like smaller in size than we've ever lived in, but we still have the stuff that fits to go into a house twice the size. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that means focus. So today, <laughs> this is a very rambly video because this is all the stuff that's going on. So today, uh, we, right now I'm ordering some floors because we still haven't even ordered our floors and they're supposed to be in the environment for a week before you install them because they're solid wood. So they need to acclimate to the moisture and the air. So according to Blue, which is, I'm sure, according to many people, what floors are supposed to be in the environment for a week before you install them. So that's awesome. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, is getting those floors um, ordered. Well, I have to say, you know, like one of the things that's hardest about moving and having done this so many times now is the, like the, how it just like, puts your life on hold, right? And especially that we moved to this house, the rental, and now we're moving into that house. That's two moves in what, like six months? I think we moved in here like six months ago. Um, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Okay, seven months ago, we moved in here. So having two moves in seven months, it's just a lot and it doesn't allow your life right to get back like onto your normal routine and the hardest thing about it is you know like the creative aspect you know i i don't talk about it a lot on this channel but you know i still like i'm an actor and producer and work in film and t tv and I usually like spend the nights. I have, my, I mean, in our last house, I, like I had our studio, my studio, where I could go into every week, and I would spend time either writing or working on characters or working on auditions, reading plays. Um, I was in a class uh, every week, and so I was working on stuff for class, and I had that like it scheduled like into my routine. And when this, like this move happens, like that all just falls to the wayside. And it's like, can be frustrating on so many fronts, right? Because it's creatively just not having that outlet, but also professionally not being able to focus and like continue 
working on projects that I've already started, and especially when you have so many different projects up in the air and so many different things that you're working on, and I do because I have different things that I'd be working on. Um, all those balls just kind of start to like drop and you start to like lose the like creative momentum behind each one of those projects. Uh, so I keep trying to find time that I can get in and work on that stuff, but it's super challenging. But I guess that's kind of life, right? Like everybody, I don't know. But for me, that's like the time that I can, I don't know, like focus and like center my life. I, I feel like without that sort of foundation or like coming back to that throughout the week, it's hard for me to even like organize or the rest of my life. Which is why you guys still don't have candles yet on 25 North. <laughs> Um, but it is all happening, and as soon as we, that's one of the great things about being able, like, having to get moved into this house, because once we're in this new house, it'll be much easier to refocus and recenter. But this is also the biggest move we've ever done, or not, I don't know about biggest move, but biggest, yeah, be, maybe move, because this house this is the first time we've had to like gut a house, gut, like tear down walls and pull out uh, insulation and start over. I mean, completely pull out kitchens and bathrooms. Um, so that's made this one even more challenging. Awesome, right? Anyway, my point is not to complain or come here and just talk about all that, but I don't know, I guess it's just, I guess, the idea is talking about how important it is to have those things in your life that keep you centered, whether it be like your meditation or your creative outlet or if you're whatever, if you're an athlete and you enjoy, you know, like my, I come from a family of athletes and my, I mean, they're all very athletic. I don't know if they're athletes. I mean, yeah. I mean, I come from a very athletic family, so their outlet has always been like sports sports in some way and you know my siblings are all on I think they all play softball yeah my siblings are all on softball teams like um, just community club teams and so every week they have that outlet um, but I feel like it really does go beyond just like having fun or like doing something that you enjoy or a hobby whether it, whatever it is for you is that it's really taking care of yourself and allowing yourself that outlet that allows you to thrive in all aspects of your life. I think it's really important that everybody have that. Um, and for me, if, like it's fortunately that I've been able to make that, you know, also part of my or part of my career or work, and I guess it's kind of all that between YouTube or. Uh, acting or producing or writing all those different things but all of those things have to be working together in order for my life to be working together are working properly <laughs> i don't know like what are your things what are your things blues is obviously music um you know crows is sport rosa loves dance and she's been in, taking dance classes I think she's still exploring what else hers is, but what is it that, I don't know, for you, or like, what is it for you that helps you center your life or find some joy or something that's yours? Oh my gosh, it's such a ramble. I have to order these floors. Okay. I don't even know how many square feet. Who's supposed to get back to me about the square feet? But at least we can start this order, right? Um, shoot, I don't even know if I have the product. Oh my gosh, why do we do this? This is what happens when you're a million places at once. Um, all right, well, let's get back to it. Oh, speaking of blues music, if you look at this, uh, this is one of the, uh, this is we created. Ba -ba -ba -ba. This is his, the Thunderbird. Um, that's inspired by his new song, 
Color One that will be out soon. But we made some mugs. Aren't they cool? They're super fun, right? You can get them on 25north.com. I'll have those available. Um, if you like to get a copy out of cool mugs that support cool music. Oh, all right. Back to wood floors. Oak, let's say solid oak flooring. what you got for me. All right, y'all. You don't need to watch me stare at a computer. We'll go to some fun stuff. Oh no, I was gonna, yeah. Was that everything I was gonna talk about with you guys? We have to order floors. We have to put in a kitchen, a temporary kitchen just to get us by until we get a full kitchen put in. We have to finish the bathroom. The plumbers are coming today. Uh, we have to put in flooring throughout the entire house. We still have to, I don't know, the list just goes on and on. 